recording. Uh, Wednesday the 9th and class uh, landscape class. So let me make a couple setting adjustments here and we'll get going on today's exciting presentation. All right, there we go. All right, so let's back up to yesterday. Well, I guess first, as always, uh, can anybody hear me? That's always a good thing to check, right? All right, Larry, thank you. Uh, James, thank you so much. Appreciate that. It's always good to know that I'm being heard out there. Um, I don't mind talking to myself. As you know, I can <clears throat> talk quite a bit. So that leads me to, um, and while I'm talking and gabbing on here for the next few minutes, um, that leads me to something that I said at the very beginning of the semester. Um, and I did receive uh, in the chat box and maybe some emails. And this doesn't ha this happens in every class. It's not just this class, but it's like, why do you lecture so long? Or remember, if you remember back the first few weeks, we had sometimes we had double lectures. We had lecture one and lecture two. Um, etc. But I did say that the, in the first weeks that um, the lectures will be getting shorter and the lab times will be getting longer. So that's what we're looking at now. Um, last week, uh, uh, lectures uh, really dialed down, and this week, of course, um, no lectures, no formal lectures as far as additional information. We're just been talking about the wrapping up the project, wrapping up the class, and things of that nature. So. I did live up to that promise uh, that there is more lab time. So hopefully um, you remember all that and won't hold it against me as I continually gab on all the time. All right. So our from yesterday, uh, and we're going to review just a little bit of that yes, uh, today about yesterday. Um, but we do just some within, within reminders, uh, we have um, <clears throat> Uh, within these reminders, uh, PowerPoints, we have uh, some information that was from yesterday as well. But uh, from yesterday, are there any any comments, um, any questions as we're moving forward into the last uh, four days of the class, including today? So after today, we'll have three days remaining of class, um, Thursday, and then Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we'll be here. Uh, any questions, any problems, anything you want to talk about? And I do have my speakers on, so that's always a good thing. All right. Nope. Larry says nope. So he spoke for the whole class, I guess. Thank you, Larry. Um, so we can move on and get this done, right, Larry? And get this uh, four slides done and move into the lab time so you can continue uh, drawing. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Larry. All right. Uh, so we only have a few in the class today, but uh, a few more than yesterday starting out, but uh, that's okay. The recording is available for you uh, if you can't make class. So that's the uh, beauty, one of the beauties of online uh, classes. So as this says, uh, this first slide here says, uh, keep calm and make it to Christmas break. So don't be panicking. You, uh, you've had time to work on your final projects uh, for the final exam. And uh, so you should be moving towards the end here. Uh, my suggestion would be, um, James McGinn says, thumbs up on that. Yeah, um, on Christmas break or moving towards the end of the project. Um, Javier, go ahead. Both. <laughs> uh, professor? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, the, okay, I have a I tell you how to meet yesterday. Uh, yes. It's uh, to turn the wheel out there. It turns out it's actually today. You got to turn the wrong day. <laughs> Uh, I got the wrong day. So I'll uh, leave the class early again. Uh, like around 1 30. We, we, we are the wrong day. Okay, no problem. We'll be in lab time, so no problem. Okay, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. All right. Um, so uh, you're almost there, almost the Christmas break, and hopefully you have some plans to uh, gel out a little bit. And I know a lot of you work or uh, some of
time. I do get work over the Christmas break uh, time as well. Haven't seen any more resumes coming in, so um, I guess we're uh, done sending those in. Uh, I did have a reminder on that to get the resumes in uh, before or by the 14th. And I don't think I added that to the reminders here. So don't forget, log on to WebAdvisor, uh, complete the course eval. Please, 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 please do that if you haven't um, done that. I, your names are not attached to it. I do not do not get the information until um, James again says done. And anybody else who has done it, you can let me know in the chat box as well. I appreciate that, James. Um, if I don't have your, your names are not attached to it, um, unless you put your name in, in the comments. And then um, what was the other thing? I don't see any of the information, any of the evaluations until um, well after the grades are posted. So um, we don't have any fear on that. All right, so nobody else put uh, done in there. So um, at least I know we've got one eval. James, thank you for that. Uh, so don't forget to do that. Uh, four days to complete the final exam projects. Okay, that should be days, obviously, to complete the final exam project. Make sure you understand uh, well to, com to complete that. Uh, what I was going to comment on that, uh, you should be wrapping up everything um, tomorrow uh, on both projects. If not uh, tomorrow, the latest Monday. And uh, so you're all ready to submit if you want to wait till Tuesday to submit to just look everything over one final time. You should not be making any changes, uh, doing anything radically on Monday. Uh, just maybe some fine tuning, you know, making sure your name's on everything and all that information is, is set. That way you're not in a big panic. If you're waiting till Tuesday at uh, 7.30 in the evening to make changes and then you're getting close to 11 o'clock and you're in a panic, uh, usually when you're in a panic mode, things will go south on you really quick. So. Um, at least that's what I find in my life. Um, you panic on something like that. So make sure that you're wrapping everything up. Um, like I said, I would have everything pretty well done tomorrow uh, on both projects. And then Monday, maybe some fine tuning and maybe even submit early. Um, and make sure, uh, make sure, okay, some great spelling in here because I put this together the last second, as you can see. I'll make the corrections on that and uh, repost this and send it out as well as announcements. Make sure you understand the final project submission process. We've gone over that several times already. Uh, the instructions I showed to you gave you an opportunity to take a screenshot of it or a picture of it. And it's also in the uh, final exam. Uh, the directions are in the final exam when you open that up as well. So make sure you understand that completely. Um, the last day to submit extra credit is 1214, so don't forget that. That's the last time you can send that in for any extra credit. Don't forget to register for spring classes 2021 um, as well. And there was something else that uh, just came to mind, and that was my, oh, and uh, another thing I didn't put in there, and I'll correct that. Uh, let me make a note on that. Uh, don't forget this morning at 5 a.m., the uh, final project, final exams opened up. Um, making a quick note here to add that. And it opened up at uh, 5 a.m. this morning, so you can start submitting if you're completed early. Um, no pressure on that, but I just want to make it available um, to you. Um, Brian said screenshot. Uh, help me out, Brian. Not sure you're talking about the final exam um, directions. I guess is what you were talking about. That's the only thing I think I think that I mentioned a screenshot on. Yes, we went over the final exam on the 30th, and I put up the directions. The same directions that I put up are in the final exam when you open up. Uh, final exam one, part one, final exam part two, the same directions were in there um, that I put up there and gave the class an opportunity. And as I had posted, I think at least a week prior that we would be doing, oh, I did before we went on 
um, on Thanksgiving break uh, that we would be doing the final exam review on the 30th. Um, so I did have that out there and I did talk about that in class and um, as well. So yes, Ryan, so that was a screenshot that you could have taken or a picture you could have taken with your phone um, on that as well. And I don't know if I posted that or not. Um, Brian, you kind of got my curiosity up now. Uh, let's see here real quick. I don't know if I put that in announcements or not. Um, oh, final exam information. That was yesterday. Uh, da, 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 da. And I'm not seeing it readily. There is some final net exam uh, information in there. Um, so um, that was a re reminder that it opens up on Wednesday. And let me go back a little further and see if there's any other announcements on that. But yes, that was covered. So um, on that on the 30th. All right, uh, so spring break, uh, register for spring break as well. And again, the final exam has opened up um, on that. So again, uh, from yesterday, we talked about final exam part one and part two, uh, that it does open up to, um, today, this morning it opened up. And don't forget when you do uh, submit the final exam, when you go into Blackboard and go into tests, and go into um, final exam part one, make sure you hit submit on that. Now, it will say you have not attached a document and say, yeah, I know I didn't because you're gonna be emailing the documents and the, the drawings in. So just click okay and then hit submit on that and you're, you're good on part one and part two. And then make sure you have all final exam emails uh, know that the final exam emails are the final emails. Don't uh, give me duplicate emails. I won't take them. Um, the first one I come to, and I, as I said yesterday, and I said previous, I always, not always, shouldn't say always, but usually start at the bottom of my of the email inbox and work up. Um, so the oldest ones I look at first. And so if you mess up on something, then that's uh, the, the first one I receive is the one I'm going to correct. So make sure, and like I said yesterday, it does not hurt to email yourself, do a test email, make sure it's number one, that it's emailed correctly, number two, that it's opening up correctly on the other end. And if you have a personal email account, I've done this several times. In fact, yesterday I was having problems with um, Outlook uh, and the coordinator email and it would say this email has not been sent it could not be could not be sent and it's like well what the heck's wrong with that so um i went into task manager and looked at uh, the um ethernet um and it was spiking like crazy and i don't know if that's normal or not i, would, I haven't had a chance to get with our it guy uh to see what's going on with that um i tested the outlook from my personal email and that went that went fine um tested Gmail, sending Gmail out uh, with my personal Gmail, um, even the school email, uh, Gmail to my personal Outlook, all that worked fine. It was just in the out, um, the one Outlook account for a coordinator uh, was hanging up for some reason. So things do happen. Uh, so yeah, I did, I'd recommend making sure you test that as well. All right. Um, so don't forget, uh, make sure you hit submit part one, part two, and everything um, is final on your submission. So any questions on any of that? All right, so if you didn't get this yesterday, it was posted yesterday, uh, I'm pretty sure on announcements. Yes, on announcements, I sent it out as a PDF and as a, a PowerPoint attachment. So I sent two announcements out, the same information, it's titled final exam information on both of them, the same information, the same, uh, not the same PowerPoint, but the PowerPoint has this information in there um, as well. 
and the password is right there for any of you that um, are going to do an early submission or um, as you get uh, to uh, uh, Tuesday at 11.59 if you're waiting that long um, here are the passwords and you might want to take a screenshot or write them down so uh, you're not looking for them um, later in the week or on the weekend or um, on Tuesday the 14th and James again says can Rotundra cover sheet still be a drawing um, Oh, do be a, a, a hand drawing. Yes, you can. Yes, as long as it's colored up in the wow factor, I'll grade it the same way I do a CAD one. Um, so, James, thanks for that question. Um, you can do a hand drawing on that. Yes. Um, if you do any importing of uh, pictures, you will need to make sure you turn the JPEG off um, on that as well. Um, and James McGinn has a question. Go ahead, James. Okay, so um, concerning that, do we need to make a, a title block and border for that to be in on the hand drawing? Well, you should be able to import that into uh, your, your hand drawing if you can scan that in or email it to yourself through your phone. Uh, you should be able to import that into CAD um, and into model space and then, of course, it's not scale, and then be able to open up a uh, D sheet cover sheet and have the same title block and everything. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Perfect. Good question. Good question. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else on that? Uh, good. Good topic there. And uh, James and everybody else to let you know, and uh, some of you in the class probably already know this, but that's uh, I've received some uh, D sheets on what was this last packet, packet six, was that or packet seven? I forgot which one we were on, but uh, require or asking for the uh, uh, CAD drawing or um, I forgot. Anyway, front yard. I received, it is the front yard. Something. Yeah front yard yeah so um, I've received some of that in that format as well so uh, all right um, so there's a password make sure you write that down or uh, there again it's in an announcements if you just want to use that um, save and submit and you can check with me um, whenever you have submitted the final exam to make sure I've received in blackboard that you completed that correctly and I've received the emails um, the email uh, emails uh, correctly and I guess that's it for today um, if you have any questions of course I will be here till 3 15 I may take a break a little bit later but um, I will um, be here till 3 15 to answer any CAD questions or any questions you have at all Jesse says do we submit part one and two separate emails so we talked about that if you read the directions, it says do this, 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 email. Part two, do this, 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 email. So um, I don't want to be a smart aleck about it, but please read directions. That's so important, uh, not only in this class, but as you go into industry, reading directions completely. And I think Larry brought that up. Um, shoot, I can't remember, Larry, when you brought that same question up as well. So. Uh, the uh, Larry um, drove the point home. He understood that it was yes to emails, but he just wanted to make sure that he was reading it correctly. So um, hopefully, Jesse, that answers your question. Um, yeah, you came in, you came in late today, but uh, no, we we talked about this all the way back to the thirtieth. So, and then I think Larry had a had that same question uh, a little bit after the 30th last, last week sometimes. <laughs> Larry, Larry says triple check. Yeah, you just don't want to blow all your great work just by messing up on the emails, right? So it doesn't hurt. I, I'm not being stubborn in answering them and I'm not trying to be a jerk again. I just want you to uh, just read directions and, and look at information that's provided. That's one thing your boss will really look at is, you know, number one, can you follow, read and follow directions? 
And number two, can you read between the lines a little bit? So maybe there's something a little vague, but might be answered. Um, and it depends how much of a limb you want to go out on. You know, if it's, if it's really critical, like a cost analysis on something that you're doing a project on, and, and you're not sure if you should add this 400, uh, 400 yards of concrete, um, that might be a question if it's not called out, but you're thinking, well, it kind of calls for it, but I'm not that would be definitely a question you want to pinpoint. But uh, some they want you to work independently and be able to read, read things and, and understand things. And that's um, just passing that on as experience, past experience from being working for since I was, uh, I guess, 16, um, doing a job somewhere, some, somehow, as I told you before. I've had many jobs in many industries, you know, uh, from janitorial service to truck driving in downtown LA and um, production crew, um, construction, project management. I mean, I've, uh, I don't say I've done everything, but I've done a lot. And that's usually one of the bottom lines. Can you follow directions? Can you follow written directions? Um, are you attentive? Are you, are you listening um, to everything? So hopefully that will help you out in the future. Again, if you have resumes, um, I'm not an expert on it, that you're not ready to send out, but you're putting together, if you want me to take a look at them, I have no problem with that. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I can give you some suggestions on that as well uh, to review that. And I've done a, a few for this class, and I've done a few for um, in every class. I think I've done a, a few here and there uh, for people we're looking at. And I guess that's it. Uh, no other comments. And you guys are free to go at it um, and draw to your heart's content. And I have not checked email in a while to see if anybody's done any early submissions or not. I just glancing through here. Um, and it looks like it's mostly attendance. So, um, so. Anyway, there you go. So I guess you guys aren't done yet, but uh, you have a few more days to wrap it up. So I will stop the recording and I will be here and I'll let you know if I do step out for a break. I'll let you know when I get back from it, um, but I'll be here until 3.15. All right, take care.